Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, today's video is going to be very different to uh, our other videos. I know I said that a lot, but I really mean it for this one. So, we're just going to be doing a quick code. It's going to be a CPS counter, so it tracks your clicks per second. Um, and this might be a long video. If you don't want to watch it all, the links will be, or not links, the source code will be in the description. But, um, I would really appreciate it if you watch along. Um, and anyways, let's get to it. So, what we're going to start with is importing our function. So we're gonna need to import to Kinter, however you pronounce that. So we're just gonna import that. And now we're gonna import timer from threaded, which is the library. So now we have our uh, our modules in. So now we're gonna make the actual button. So we're gonna do root, or we can just call this window equals CK. And now we're just gonna say window dot geometry. And so this will set the size of the window that we defined here. So we're gonna make this 800 by 600. Now we're just gonna make the actual button. So I'm just gonna call this clicked to start equals button. And we're gonna say window. So it's gonna do in that window. And we're gonna say, make it say, click to start. And now I'm just gonna set the X dimensions. Oh, Y, okay. The X dimensions and the Y dimensions with pad X, pad Y. And that's gonna be 200 by 100. And now let's do, Click to start dot pack and then window dot main loop. So the last two will just help it operate. This will update it and this will run it. So now we run it. We have a button that does absolutely nothing. So we're gonna make a function so it can call from. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna call this def run CPS. So this will just run the code. Now, um, to start off with, I'll just show you an example on how the button works. So if I say, you know what, pog, why not? We're gonna add a command here. Give me a second. All right, sorry, I'm back now. Um, so now if I do comma command equals, and I do run CPS, oh, take out that. And now if I run this, every time I click, it should say pog. So I can do this a bunch of times. Anyways, now we need a CPS counter. So I'll actually count our CPS. So we're gonna make a variable, and every time you run this, it's gonna be equal to zero first, because you haven't clicked it yet. So now if I say CPS plus equals one, print CPS, and I need to tell the function that I'm using CPS by using global CPS. And now if I do this, It'll tell me one, two, three, four, five, six. So every time I click, it's gonna add one. So we're gonna do that, but we're also gonna need to start a timer. So we're also gonna need a new function called def add CPS. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we're gonna have a timer and when that timer starts, it's gonna start, um, it's, when we click run, it's gonna start running it. And that timer will start to overlap and it's gonna mess the whole thing up. So we need a function that will add C, uh, CPS to it. And, um, how do I say this? And it won't restart the timer. So that's our main goal. Don't restart the timer and get to work. So, here we go. So in run CPS, we're gonna make a turn. So we know the first time we start it, we wanna start the timer. The second time we start it, we don't wanna start the timer. So we're gonna make a variable called turn. And now we're gonna say if, well actually, before we do this, we need to define the actual timer. So we have it. So I'm gonna call this uh, CPS track. So I guess track CPS. And this is gonna be called timer. And 
Now, how many seconds is the first part? We need to know how many seconds we want to run. So we need to ask that. We need to ask the person for input. So for that, we're gonna put that equals input. And now we're gonna say, how many seconds do you want? And now we need to make this an integer so it can be used as a number in the timer. So we're gonna just say choose equals int choose. Now we can say choose. And now we need the function that it's gonna run. So this is gonna be what happens after the timer runs out. So we're gonna make another function, I know, a lot of function. I'll just call this CPS, just yes, CPS. Oh no, it's already, eh, okay, CPS. Actually, no, we need to change this, so I'll just call it CPS too. Because otherwise it's gonna get messed up with the variable. And then I won't know what I did wrong. So, now we're gonna do CPS equals, and um, we need a number for it to count our CPS, so we're just gonna call this num. So, now we have this, this, and this. So, we're gonna define what happens if the turn starts. So, we're gonna do uh, global turn if turn is equals to zero, then we want the CPS track for just start. There we go. And now the turn will become one. Then, oh, turn equals one, or turn plus equals one. Now, if the turn, actually, no, we're gonna, yeah. We're gonna switch these positions so that uh, it doesn't mess it up. If turn is equals equals to one, then we're going just to run add CPS. Now add CPS is going to add one to num. Global num, and then we're gonna do num plus equals one. So now, if this is the second time you click the button, it's gonna add one to num. If it's the first time, then it's gonna start the timer and uh, add turn to one. So the next time you click it, it knows to add. Then we're gonna do global uh, CPS, and we'll see if we need anything else after. Oh yeah, we're also gonna need global, oh wait, no, not global CPS. We're gonna need global num. And now this is gonna be equal to the number divided by how many seconds we chose. So now we need to make this a string so we can actually tell the person how many seconds. So we're gonna do CPS equals string CPS. And now if I do print CPS, oh yeah, sorry. We also need to bring this here and we're gonna do CPS too here. So now let's see what happens. All right, so say I want two seconds and let's see, does this work? Yep, so now it actually tracks 5.5 .5 CPS. So, but we don't just want it to say uh, like 5.5 .5 CPS, we'll say print your CPS. And we'll do plus. Now, if I say I want three seconds, this will go up. One, two, three. There you go. And that is your CPS. But now, what if we want it to say after you start it, so you know you're actually going, we don't just want it to keep saying click to start. Well, now we're gonna need to update it after we click start. So if the turn is equal to zero, then we're also gonna say, uh, we call this click to start. And this is going to be, we're gonna change the text. So we're gonna tell that, that's what we're changing. And now we're gonna change it to click. So now, if I run it, say two seconds, get the code, I'll start saying click. There you go, six CPS. Now, if we click it again, it's uh, 
not gonna go that. That's one uh, thing. I just wrote this code, um, so I'm not gonna be able to correct that. But if you join my Discord and I correct it later, then um, I'll put that code in the Discord, and the Discord will be linked in the description too. So check that out later if you want to. So now we have that. But what if we want it to say in a little bar, you know, after we have here, it wants to say what our CPS was. So we need to add that to CPS right here. So instead of print CPS, we're gonna say, hmm, your underscore CPS. And we're gonna call this entry, and this is gonna be on window. So we're gonna tell it that. And now we're gonna say, your CPS dot insert. So this is what we're saying. And we're gonna say your CPS plus CPS. Oh, sorry. There we go. And now if we run this, let's see. Oh, sorry, and we need a do dot pack so it actually updates. All right, there we go. And now, I don't think this is gonna work and I'll tell you why in a second. So now if we do this, see, it's missing one argument, it says insert. So that's because it's thinking your CPS is the function we're calling. So the function we're actually gonna be calling is called end. So now if we do this, comma, and now if you say, I want three seconds, you'll open it and you click it after three seconds, your CPS is five. Um, and just a little funny thing you can do, if you have a macro, you can trick your friends in the video of you doing this, just click your macro, and then 48 CPS. Um, so that's gonna be it. Uh, that was actually a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Uh, if you did enjoy the video and you found this helpful or useful, uh, please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you aren't already. Um, if I see enough interest in this video, I'll consider making more coding videos. If you have any ideas for me to code, uh, leave it in the link description. I'll definitely try to check it out. And um, I think that's it. And I will see you next time. Um, see you.